Today I'm participating in the collab with the DIY Mommies channel and it is a fall DIY so you're supposed to create something, a do-it-yourself project with something and of course I'm using thrifted baskets. You guys, if you do not know and you're new to my channel, I love to thrift. Thrift is what I do and thrifted baskets are a love language of mine. So today I was trying to bring that fall aspect in with baskets. I have a wall over here above my buffet that's been driving me nuts, so I decided that I was gonna take down everything I had up there. So today, I am creating a small little basket wall above the buffet in my living room. Yes, my buffet's in my living room because I don't have a proper dining room. But anyway, and then once we get finished doing the basket wall, we're going to decorate my buffet for fall together. y'all so the best advice that I can give you when trying to do a basket wall is to just go get your baskets and start playing around with it on the floor so that's what I'm doing now I'm just gonna try to make an arrangement that I think I will like on the wall but I'm gonna do it on the floor first so I kind of know how I want to hang it so let's get busy doing that how this looks I know it's gonna be like once you get it on the wall it's not gonna look exactly like it does on the floor because it's on the floor but this is I'm kind of liking how the different tones are spread apart the dark ones kind of in the middle I don't know I'm gonna get them up on the wall that might change a little bit but for now I think I kind of like how that all looks so let's get it on the wall show you guys real quick I did do I hung up some little things I made myself like some little hooks to hang these up in case you're wondering how I'm hanging them up Okay, what I've decided to do is decorate the rest of the buffet and then decide if I like the baskets. I feel like just not having anything else up there with it is throwing me off. So I'm gonna start adding the stuff to decorate the buffet and then see how I like the baskets because right now I feel like they're just off. I don't know. So let's add the rest of the decor and then see what we think at the end. The first thing that I'm gonna add is my it's my vanity that I use as a desk in our homeschool room. It's the mirror that goes on that, and I've had it in storage. And I thought, why don't I bring that in here and put it on this to kind of help fill in some of this wall space that I'm trying to cover. I don't know. So I'm going to start with that and then just put some other things up here, and we'll walk through it as we go. Okay, the first thing I'm going to add is this runner I got at a garage sale. to give my thing height sometimes and layer so I'm gonna add some books before I add my lamp back up here lamp I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance no no excuse me that's my other ones these I got at Kirkland's 
just on sale. Then I'm going to add this big two-tiered tray thing, this galvanized metal thing. This I've had for a long time. It's usually a staple up here just because it kind of helps fill in this corner over here. Um, the decor in here usually just stays the same. I just have some greenery hanging off the side, my little chicken, and sometimes I change this stuff out, but it's just been pretty neutral right now. This is a garage sale find, Hobby Lobby clearance. Just a couple little knickknack things in there. I'm going to use this candlestick that I got at Salvation Army just to help me prop up my sign. Y'all, this sign had the green. I'm just weird like that. And I painted, I just went over it with black because I like, I wanted it to just be black and white and brown. I don't know. I just wasn't loving the color of green that was in it. So I just, yeah, I did that. <laughs> Guess you could say I DIY'd that. Just painted it, that's all. <laughs> Nothing special. This, I got this as a Hobby Lobby clearance find also, and I just put some wheat in it. I'm gonna put it back in this little corner. I have to move things around a little bit. There's that. This bottom shelf is looking a little plain, so I'm gonna add just a little more greenery to that. I got this little thing. This is actually, I got this at Goodwill. This is actually a salt and pepper thing, or whatever you call them. I use these for little risers, just like on stuff like this that I need, and I love that it's wood tone. And I also, a friend of mine got me this at a garage sale, so I'm just going to layer with this real quick up here in this corner, because I'm trying to fill in now. I want to try to fill in this little spot. So, I'm just kind of sitting that in there nice like that. But this brings the fall into me. So I kind of did a little do, do I, why, DIY little set up here. And then I'm going to add these little clear candle holders and these real pretty burnt orange candles up here. This is the reason that I put that little riser right there because I don't like for two candlesticks to just sit by side by side. I like for one to be elevated up high and the other one to be a little bit lower. Get in there. I just want to add a few pumpkins to the mix. So I've got like some garage sale pumpkins, some Hobby Lobby pumpkins, and some pumpkins that I just took off of a stick. I actually have a DIY wreath that I did not too long ago that I had four of these on there and a subscriber said I think it would look better with three and I agreed with her because I had already been thinking that myself. So I just took one of these off to put on the bottom so that it kind of matched the wreath. So I'm just going to go place those. going to do the same thing on the other side. Add a couple little, I actually DIY'd this one or upcycled it, whatever it's called when you just paint something. <laughs> I just painted this one and I got this one, I think it's a Dollar Tree a couple years ago. I want to add that little bit of color over here. It's looking better. So let's look up here because I have this big hole like over here that I'm gonna put my little DIY wreath there to help fill in that spot. Hopefully I can get you guys adjusted where you can see. There we go, okay. So let me hang that up and it's kind of all tying together now. Yeah, this is the wreath that I put together in about five minutes the other day. Literally that's how long it took and it turned out beautiful. I kind of got some inspiration from one they were selling at Hobby Lobby for like $40. And so I said, there's no way I'm paying $40 when I can do that myself. So that's what I did. I just bought the vine wreath, the pumpkins, and the little picks and just did it myself. So hang this up here because I want to give also this area some body. Okay, I think it's up there. Let me get down and look. Lampshade. <laughs> But I'm loving it, I think. Oh, it's so cute now. OK, 
Okay, let me look at these these baskets. I feel like these two, like this one maybe needs to be turned. So let me try that real okay. quick. Now I think I need to move this over to make the basket wall look right. This is a process, y'all. I don't normally show you all these little clips because I just want you to get the inspiration from how good it looks, but I thought this time I'm actually gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it and let them see just how crazy I am and what the process is like. It takes a hot minute. Right there is what I'm talking about. It's off. Y'all might not be able to tell, but I can see how it's not, the mirror is not level with my drawers and they are in the middle. So let me fix that. And then that might fix Yes, that filled in that little spot right there. I don't know, right here is where I was talking about and moving it, kind of the tip of that mirror helps to kind of fill in that spot. So now I feel like my DIY basket wall, my DIY wreath, I think it all looks wonderful now. So let me show you a clip of it all put together. No fall decorating space is complete without a beautiful burning candle. y'all i hope that you enjoyed that diy project as much as i did i love to be able to use thrifted inexpensive things to use around my house and make it beautiful let this just be another reminder that you do not have to spend a lot of money to make your home beautiful and don't forget to check out the playlist down in the description box i will have everyone else's video linked for you to watch i'm sure that there is tons of inspiration and good ideas i cannot wait to watch them all myself so you guys i hope that you have a wonderful week we love y'all and we will see you in the next video.